guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome, Cross Watchers. And if you happen to be brand new to the channel, I'm glad you landed here. Okay, so this is not my normal setup. Normally, I'm sitting over there in that chair, um, but I, I needed a new desk, and the desk arrived damaged. So the second new desk will arrive on November 1st. In the meantime, I'm stuck at my bar. That's the kitchen. Welcome to my living room. Lighting is crappy. Audio is on the webcam. We're just going to make do, okay? Um, let me pull for you from Starry Beginnings, I think is the oracle, to activate the reading. Let's see what we've got for you today. Card 33, you are healing your heart. Someone else got this. I want to say it was Libra. The heart hurts, but it will mend in time. Master number, sacred number, we don't reduce it. I love that for you, Capricorn. You are healing your heart. Indeed. Good message. Um, keep in mind, this is a general reading. Oh, not a private reading. So it may not resonate for all of you. Take what speaks to you, leave the rest. I do offer private readings. There's always a link in the description box below every video. That will, you have to scroll a little bit, but it'll take you to the booking page. Um, also, the energies can come through reverse. So sometimes when I'm saying you and I'm speaking of Capricorn, I could be meaning you, the cross watcher. So I'm doing a split soulmate spread. Take whichever side speaks to your experience. Yay. This is the last series of readings that is going to go in the order that I normally go in. Aries through Pisces is my normal order. That is going to change as of November 1st. So new desk, new order, everything's going to be new. There is a video <laughs> right up there that says, watch this video. And it will tell you, I went to the trouble to make the video so I could explain what it's going to be like and why and... Watch it, don't watch it, it's up to you. Okay, so now that I got all that out of the way, I'm gonna pull the cards, give you my general impressions. We'll go back through with the clarifiers. And then for those of you, if it really resonates, there will be an extended from the point of view of your person. And you can opt in for that if you so choose. Well, I like that. You're healing your heart and finding your way to happiness. Oh, happy day, Capricorn. I like that. And your person showing up, whew, in the energy of the death card, it, you know, it's, it's an energy of growth, change, and transformation, so we could have some of that. Their struggle is with some manifestation or maybe believing that they have everything that they need to manifest some form of change or transformation and their opportunity well their opportunity is is certainly not to be kind of disenchanted right there if this is the opportunity their opportunity is to not miss an opportunity when spirit is handing you the ace of cups you don't look past it right okay that would represent a change you're coming in with a uh, like, I can't deal with this anymore. Ten of Wands. We have some real difficult, heavy, burdensome energy that you are ready to release. And the challenge is around someone that you really need to show up for you. This is um, King of Pentacles, a masculine archetype of a life partner. Someone you need to be able to count on. And the opportunity for you with regard to this connection is to be able to trust your intuition. Mm -hmm. your inner knowing about all of this and sometimes when we lean in when we lean in and we listen especially if you can quiet your mind and maybe I know not everybody is really equipped with meditative skills but if you're one that can and you can follow your breath that's that's the trick um, sometimes this starts to dissipate on its own yeah So they say. Okay, so let's jump in, shall we? The sun, 
overall energy. There it is. Right? What did I just say? If you can quiet your mind, if you can quiet your mind and trust your intuition, follow your breath, trust your intuition, we're going for some measure of balance and harmony. Something's been out of balance here and we're trying to get back to that sense of feeling safe and protected in our vulnerability. Perhaps whatever bliss feels like to you, um, that's we're looking at the overall energy here and there's something that's a little out of whack. For those of you who are new, the cards from the bottom of the deck and the clarifiers <laughs> um, is what you can't see because it's either in your unconscious awareness or theirs or it's playing out behind the scenes. So I, I pull from that just to give you little hints and clues as to maybe what you're not consciously aware of. So let's see the death card for your person here. Yeah. They know something has to change. The hidden, right? What we can't see. It's about commitment on some level. Um, and they know it. They know it. They may not be facing it. But you've been more than kind, open-hearted, coming in with divine feminine. That's how they're perceiving you. That's how they're sensing you, feeling you. Um, Open-hearted, receptive, generous, kind, um, compassionate. Yeah, like a soft place to land right here. And with this theme of either conventional committed relationship with a theme of real commitment, something a little bit more long-term, long-lived, um, some changes need to be made. Magician is their struggle. There are, and I love this because from the bottom of the deck, and I'll explain, we've got the magician in their challenge. And temperance is, um, it's a little spiritual wisdom, right? And, and it is some self-control, restraint, it's balance. It's like, notice the angel, the archangel, one foot on the ground, one foot in the water. So staying grounded in, in their feelings and emotions and, and, and the movement, the, 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 um, the alchemy here, right? So it's like, yeah, I understand the manifestation isn't like a, you know, it's not bewitched. I'm not twitching my nose here. It's a process and it takes time. And I love what lands on it is this Knight of Cups. And it's kind of a key thing. Because it's romance, number one. Number two, it's vulnerability on an emotional level. And knights make offers. And how does this person offer you their heart? How does this person create that environment, you know? And I'm, I'm looking right at this sun and the nine of swords and all the worry about you know, feeling safe and protected in one's vulnerability. Well, maybe this person is struggling with that because here we have this Eight of Cups. And the Eight of Cups, you know, isn't always about walking away. I, that's, that, that's, you know, the shortcut interpretation. But it really is about the journey. And it's about, you know, what, what we, you know, what, what doesn't serve us anymore and how we continue to move forward. And I'm feeling as if this person understands now because with the death card, the sun is there breaking on the horizon. We've got that beautiful white rose of peace and purity on that black flag in this desolate scene. 
in this person's awareness of your goodness and your purity. Do you see what I'm kind of saying? And, and this Hierophant calling this person to their higher self. Because in terms of the Hierophant, it's about the vows we make and take. And who we have to be to honor them. Yeah, because it's responsibility, obligation sometimes. It's a word a lot of people don't like and what gets in the way for a lot of folks. And so I'm seeing this person struggle in temperance, that call, that spiritual wisdom that says, in time, everything's going to kind of come into flow and balance. So we're manifesting this moment where I got to leave behind a part of myself that hasn't been ready for some, some, something higher, something more ascendant. So let me tell you, from my perspective, you know, this person's got first world, first world problems, as we like to say. Um, not so shabby. So let's see the opportunity for cups. Right, right. As I was trying to explain, well, the opportunity is to not miss an opportunity. Is to not miss the forest for the trees over here, staring at three cups like, oh, woe is me when spirit's trying to give you the love of a lifetime. Well, spirit's trying to give you love and passion. Here, the time is now. Don't miss it. Crawl if you have to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <sighs> I'm having a moment, guys. <laughs> so, yeah. They're going to get it. They're... It's happening. So, for you, from your vantage point, coming in kind of at that moment, I'm over it. It's a lot. It's heavy. Can't do this. It's a lot. Right. Where, why is my divine masculine, why is this all on me? I could, like, cry. I could cry. Take me speechless while you can, guys. Doesn't ever happen. Why? That's it. Why? Why is it on me? Ooh, somebody is coming through direct. <laughs> King of Pentacles, well, it makes sense. Yeah. You're feeling like you're getting the shaft. You're, you're afraid there may be others. Maybe, maybe they're not, you know, just mine. Maybe there's third party. Maybe, maybe. Like, you're, you're feeling very much like you are, are, are getting the short end of the stick here. Like you're feeling defeated, they're you're very worried, maybe feeling some insecurity, wondering if there's third party. Like your head's going to weird places here, because this part is what I'm I'm getting. Because the next card for you and your opportunity is the High Priestess. Because what I want to say to you is, please, you cannot fall into suspicion. It is a very low vibration. And you, you, can't, you can't get to here from there. You cannot. It is not possible. It is an energetic mismatch of gigantic proportions. 
there's no manifest manifesting your way here from here. That is not the way it works. I, I, I beg you, and, and I see it in the comments all the time, and I try to tell people, and I, I, I'm, I'm here to help you. Help me, Jerry Maguire, help you, okay? Your opportunity is the High Priestess. That is why I named the channel Awakened Priestess. Awaken to your gifts. Trust that the universe has your back. Will grant the wish. Will bring the necessary change. Okay, and 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 will and and set yourself free from the prison of your own making. You need this change as much as this person does. So. Um, I'm loving that we are seeing this because I want you to understand the death card can be about how we have to let certain aspects of ourselves die off so a new part of us can be born into its place. That's just part of the maturation process. And we're never too old to grow up a little more. Okay, I mean, I'm no exception. This, this is about trusting that there's some growth change and transformation that will, you know, the sun is peeking through on the horizon for a, a reason. And you have to allow your intuition to guide you and trust in, in the process that there's a bigger plan, that there's a bigger plan. And like, yeah, get out of your own way. You cannot think your way through this. You have to feel your way through. Oof. You have to feel your way through this. So because this is from the bottom of the deck, buyer beware here. You may not be aware that you are second guessing every little thing internally, that you are, you know, like, like a caged animal. Do this. Because for this figure, none of those swords are blocking her way. I'm saying her, because to me it looks like a feminine figure. None of the swords are in her way, none of them. The ropes aren't even taut. They're very loose around her. She can freely walk, next step, right into a puddle. In tarot, water is always feelings and emotions. So if you wanna break free, you gotta drop into your heart chakra. What was your oracle? You are healing your heart. The heart hurts, but it will mend in time. Card 33, threes are learning. It's education, it's knowledge. It's, it think, it, it's, it's the triad. It's um, you, your divine counterpart and spirit, the three of pentacles, cooperative, co-creative. There's something you're meant to learn here and it's to trust your damn intuition and not fall into suspicion. I'm gonna be doing a course on intuition. I would recommend you click the link when I finally offer it. I'm, I'm trying to get organized. I got to get back in my own setup. When I, when I get it up and offered, click the link and read about it because whoever you are watching, you would benefit from that course. It'll be more like a master class of sorts because it's really important. Something's happening here. Okay, so now, <laughs> before I get into the astrology of all this, if this is speaking to you, a uh, couple things. I'm going to take it to the extended. I want to see it from this King of Pentacles point of view on your behalf. What's their perception of you, right? What's their take on how you're operating in the world in this connection? What are their feelings for you? What are their intentions toward you? Um, what are they getting from you, good, bad, or indifferent? 
what's the level of physical chemistry? What's the level of fulfillment there for them in this relationship? And some of you may be at distance, so it's still about the chemistry. We want to check on that because um, that's always important. And where do they see this relationship headed? All those will be really helpful um, for you. So especially if this reading has resonated. The links for that are below. Option number one is a renewal, a monthly renewal. Please know that. You get more than just this extended. So you want to click the link and you want to read what you get for that monthly renewal. It renews, renews automatically. Option number two is just this extended, one and done. Option three will always be the all access pass to everything. So check those out. Also, um, if you have been enjoying my readings or you really like this one and you have not yet done so, please subscribe below. That is my request to you. It's the energetic exchange between us. I come here to help you and I request your subscription um, as your thank you. Okay. <laughs> All right, so here's the astrology. The sun is the sun and it rules the sign of Leo. We have the high priestess here twice. She is actually the moon and, um, rule, and the moon rules the sign of cancer. We have justice is Libra. Scorpio in the death card came out twice. More Cancerian or Cancerian energy here in the um, Queen of Cups. Empress is Venus, Taurus and Libra. Hierophant is Taurus. Magician is Mercury, which rules Virgo and Gemini. Sagittarius in the Temperance card. The lovely Pisces in our Knight of Cups. Sagittarius in the Wheel of Fortune because it's Jupiter. Jupiter rules Sagittarius. The Emperor is Aries, Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, King of Pentacles, more Taurus, the Moon, Pisces, the Star is Aquarius, and oh, and that's it. Yeah, that's what I have for you. I am headed to the extended. I'll see you there in a second. Bye for now.